I'm a true summer, fully cool skin undertone. And I will tell you that I go into makeup stores and I'm told all the time that my skin undertone is warm. For my color analysis clients who I meet over Zoom with, I usually suggest to them to walk into those stores and just be directed to the makeup foundations that match their color analysis result undertone. And once they get to those sections, match the uh, foundation they're choosing, surface coloring of that foundation that is with with their surface coloring. Before I had a lot of client experience with color analysis, I encountered clients all the time coming back to me saying, but I went to a makeup store and they told me my undertone was X, which was different from my color analysis results. Over time, I've realized that there's a lot of factors going on there and I have my own experience going into makeup stores telling me that I'm a warm skin undertone. I will say different brands have different formulations that perhaps could blend with your skin, uh, etc., which could mean that you land in a different undertone in a particular brand. Right now, for instance, on this side of my face, I've put a 0.5 porcelain gold, which is a warm foundation, and a 0.5 rose porcelain on this side, which is a cool base foundation. So warm foundations are yellow based, cool foundations are pink based. I can get the warm foundation to blend with my skin, but is it brightening and adding uh, vibrancy to my skin? It's hard to come across in video, but in person, I will tell you that this foundation is not brightening my skin. It's uh, making visible shadowing and uh, my brown spots are more visible on this side of my face in person. Your right foundation should not only blend with your skin, but also brighten and add vibrancy to your skin. I will just also add that makeup artists that I know have shared with me that it is a rare day where they're actually using one makeup bottle uh, of foundation on a client. They're usually mixing up uh, different brands, different colors within a brand, etc. to get an exact match to a client's surface coloring. And so for you, there might be a bit of trial and error to get an exact match to your surface coloring. If you're looking to your foundation to help you with step one of color analysis, meaning deciding whether you lean cool or warm, I wouldn't do that because uh, do you really know your foundation is both blending and uplifting your skin? If you really wanted to look to makeup colors to help guide you on step one of color analysis, whether you lean cool or warm, I would uh, look more to eyeshadows. So here's a golden eyeshadow uh, palette. Uh, this on me is absolutely terrible, adds a ton of shadowing and uh, magnification of stuff I don't want magnified on my skin. Uh, or uh, try lipstick. So here is a warm orange coral lipstick. This on me just wears me. I've said this in other videos, but I'll just repeat this as well. If you're confused about what cool, warm, neutral looks like in a foundation and what that may mean in terms of relation to surface coloring, I highly recommend going to a website, the L'Oreal True Match uh, website. On their site, you can actually visibly see cool, warm, and neutral uh, foundations because they've labeled things like that. And so uh, certainly, for instance, if you have more golden aspects to your skin, you can also have a cool undertone. And, and I love using this site to illustrate that. Also, if you have fair skin, you can also have a warm skin undertone. Many people who receive results from me that say they have a warm skin undertone think that I'm trying to make their skin look orange and that couldn't be further from the case. Uh, I'm just trying to a match your undertone with your undertone and then you would go ahead and match the surface coloring of uh, the warm foundation that you ultimately choose with your surface coloring. Makeup foundations and matching with your skin can be tricky but uh, color analysis results will help you get at the undertone to choose of your makeup foundation.